sports and activities are back for Columbus City Schools. All of that was put on hold earlier this month to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Brittany Bailey. Well, district leaders say they decided to get things back on track because the positive coronavirus cases are trending down and Franklin County dropped from red to orange on the health alert map. 10 TV Stephanie Stanovich talks with one mother who says her daughter is excited to get back on the field. Yeah, she's really excited. The first thing she said to me today was the bo my boys are out in that field. Tanya Harper is a mother of two. Her oldest daughter just graduated from Columbus City School District and her youngest daughter Nia is a junior. Nia is a co-captain for the cheer squad at Walnut Ridge and she's ready to get back out there and do what she loves. Nia has been cheering since she was in the seventh grade. Columbus City School District recently announced that in person sports and extracurricular activities can start up again. Some football teams wasted no time and practiced this morning. The superintendent says when we made the decision to suspend in person athletics and activities to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our community, we were intentional about not postponing our fall seasons completely. Dr. Talisa Dixon goes on to say we know how important athletics and extracurricular activities are to our schools and our community. It teaches them about leadership um, and it teaches them to be well rounded. Between those in school districts, parents, students, a lot of tough decisions had to be made in the past months, past weeks. Harper says as a mother, she's tired of the constant changes. Every day something is, I just wait to, for one of my friends to give me a call to tell me what the update is because I'm just being honest with you. I don't want to read their emails no more. Reporting in Columbus, Stephanie Stanovich, 10 TV News. Now Harper says she's waiting to get the schedules for when her daughter will start practice again. District leaders say schedules and return to play timelines will be discussed with school principals, athletic directors and coaches.